For this problem, we want to use the graph of f to determine a, the domain of f of x, b, the range of f of x, c, f of 3, and d, any x values for which f of x equals 3. For letter a, the domain of f of x is the set of all x values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of x is negative 3 and the highest value of x is 4. This means that x is between negative 3 and 4. Since the domain is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as negative 3, 4, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter b, the range of f of x is the set of all y values within the function. Looking at the graph, we can see that the smallest value of y is 0 and that the highest value of y is 3. This means that y is between 0 and 3. Since the range is inclusive on both endpoints, we can write this as 0, 3, with brackets on both endpoints. For letter C, f of 3 is the value of the function when x is equal to 3. Looking at the graph, we can see that when x is equal to 3, y is 0. This means that f of 3 is equal to 0. For letter D, we want to find any x values for which f of x equals 3. Looking at the graph, we can see that when y is equal to 3, x is equal to 0 and 4. So the answer for letter D is x equals 0 and 4.